In this problem, we're told a freight train has a mass of 1.5 times 10 to the 7 kilograms. If the locomotive can exert a constant pull of 7.5 times 10 to the 5 newtons, how long does it take to increase the speed of the train from rest to 80 kilometers per hour? So this right here is our train, right? We know its mass, 1.5 times 10 to the 7 kilograms. You also know it's going to have some force, right? Pulling it, which is 7.5 times 10 to the 5 newtons. And so what we're trying to do is find how long does it take to increase the speed from rest to this. So we're trying to find some time. Right, and so how do we do this? So notice what we're given. So we're given these, right? But we're also given that the train's gonna start from rest, meaning its initial velocity, right, is zero meters per second, right? And we're gonna find how long it takes it to get to some certain speed, right? And that speed is just gonna be 80 kilometers per hour, right? And so notice, we're trying to solve for t. We have v and we have v sub zero, right? And so notice that's kind of like kinematics. So what we're gonna do is use kinematics in order to solve this, right? And so if we want an equation that relates all these, right? What are we missing? So we know V equals V sub zero plus A times T, right? Which is one of the kinematic equations, right? And the reason I'm choosing this one is because I noticed that we have V, we have T, and we have V sub zero, right? But we don't have A. But based on what we're given, we're given a force and we're given a mass, right? And through a given a force and a mass, we can solve for the acceleration, right? Because we know force equals mass times uh, acceleration according to Newton's second law, right? So what we can do is solve for uh, the acceleration of this object if we have the force and the mass, which is what we do. Right, and if we know the acceleration, right, and we know the initial velocity, and we know the final velocity it's trying to get to, we can solve for the time that it takes it to get to there, right? So that's just the uh, thought process, right? So what we want to do is just solve for the acceleration first, right? That's the first thing if we want to be able to solve this equation. Okay, so uh, what we can do is if we were solving for acceleration, divide both sides by m, right? And so the acceleration in this case is just going to be the uh, the resultant force divided by the mass, right? And so in this case, the force acting on it is 7.5 times 10 to the 5. Uh, newtons and then the mass of the object is 1.5 times 10 to the 7 kilograms right so this right here is going to give you your acceleration so go just go ahead and do this right so do uh, 7.5 times 10 to the 5 divided by 1.5 times 10 to the 7 and when you do this you'll get 0 0.05 right and then keep in mind where newtons divided by kilograms is meters per second squared so we have the acceleration now right so what we all we have to do is just plug it in the kinematics Right, but notice our velocity in this, right? This is in meters per second squared. Our time is going to be measured in seconds, right? And this is in kilo, uh, kilometers per hour. So we have to convert it into uh, the correct units, right? It's got to be in meters per second because we're using meters per second squared. So let's convert that first. So 80 kilometers per hour. So we know that there's one hour for every 60 minutes, right? So if we divide by 60, that'll cancel out the hours like this. And then we know that there's one minute for every uh, 60 seconds. Right, that'll cancel out the minutes, and now we just have kilometers per second, right? But we need meters. So for every one kilometer, we know there's a thousand meters, right? So if you basically just multiply by a thousand, that'll cancel out the kilometers. And then we're just going to have it in meters per second, which is what we want. So just do 80, multiply by a thousand, and then just divide by uh, 3600, right? Because 60 times 60 is 3600. So go ahead and do that, and you're going to get 22.2222, and so on, right? So I'm just going to round it like this. So 22.22, and then it's going to be meters per second. So this is the velocity, right? And we're using this V equals V sub zero plus A times T. So now we have the velocity we're trying to get to, right? 22.22. We have the initial, right? And it's starting from rest. Therefore, it's just zero. Zero plus anything is just going to be this. So I don't need to put it. Plus the acceleration, which we just solved for, 0 0.05, right? Multiplied by the T, and that's exactly what we want. We want the time it's going to take it to go from rest all the way to this speed, right? So if we divide by 0 0.05, right, you're going to get T. So if you do 22.22 divided by 0 0.05, you'll get T equals uh, 444.4, right? So uh, this is going to be it in seconds, right? So 444.4 seconds, you can round, right? Just say 444, or if you want to convert it into minutes, you just divide by 60, right? So dividing by 60 you'll get 7.4, right? And so if you, we're basically just converting into minutes. So 7.4, right? All I did was divide by 60 because that'll cancel out the seconds and make it minutes. So 7.4 uh, minutes. So you can use whatever your teacher wants you to do, but just make sure you use the right one, right? So 7.4 minutes or 444 seconds. Uh, these are gonna be your answers, right? So those are your answers and hopefully you found this useful.